Caster X here, and I just wanted to let you know that the DJI Pocket 2 in 2021 is still one of my favorite little portable cameras to take with me when I can't or just don't want to bring heavier gear. And I think it does a great job. So I'm gonna be showing you some footage. I'm gonna show you what this thing is capable of. The DJI Pocket 2 is capable of up to 240 frames per second um, in 1080p. Um, I did find the footage at that frame rate to be a little bit mushy for my taste, but I did find um, 1080p at 120 frames per second to be usable. However, I personally would go with 60 frames per second, 4K and slow that down. Cause that just, that's the bread and butter. That looks good. Now let's start with the obvious, the size of this thing. It's tiny. The Osmo Pocket 2 proves that size isn't the only thing that matters. <laughs> okay, but seriously, you can put this thing in your pocket and capture 4K 60 frames per second footage anywhere for that nice slow motion or even I prefer to shoot in 4K 24 and the footage from such a tiny camera has been awesome. I even brought the Osmo Pocket 2 uh, to a wedding last week in Tennessee, and um, I think the bride is gonna be more than happy with the footage. Um, I hope. Battery life on the Pocket 2 has been awesome. I mean, just the internal battery alone usually lasts me um, about an hour at 4K. In the case of the wedding I just mentioned, I did, however, um, keep this hooked up to a power bank that I kept in my pocket and I pretty much had power all day long. Now, I think one of my favorite things about this camera is the mechanical gimbal. I mean, this thing is awesome. You can move the camera around and you just get nice, steady, smooth footage. As an example, here I am running down the street in New York City, and you can see that the Pocket 2 is doing an amazing job keeping that background nice and steady. What's nice about a mechanical gimbal system is you don't get any of the crop that is required by action cameras um, for electronic image stabilization. Now, here I am running down a trail in the mountains, and I swear I was running as fast as I could run and the camera does such a good job of keeping the image steady that it almost looks like I'm running really slow. Um, but I promise I was running as fast as I could in this shot. Um, or maybe I'm not that fast. If a level horizon is not what you're looking for, you can switch this into a, a point of view mode, um, which lets you point the camera in any direction to capture cool, first person point of view shots like this um, while still maintaining nice smooth footage. So if you like the color grade, um, this camera lets you film in a mode, uh, a picture profile I should say, called D-Cine Like, which is DJI's flatter picture profile. So if you like the color grade, um, the D-Cine Like footage has been awesome for color grading. I did go to New York City recently and I filmed some shots in the normal picture profile and I'm gonna show you a couple clips of um, what that looks like.
feature that I really like is the ability to take um, great time lapses, uh, motion lapses, and even hyperlapses with this. So um, uh, what I really like is the ability to take a motion lapse because it's a time lapse um, that lets you set two points and the camera can move in between those points as it takes um, the time lapse, which uh, looks really cool. So here's an example of a motion lapse I shot quickly in Times Square, uh, just as an example. Then I picked up the camera and shot a quick um, hyperlapse just to give you an example of what a hyperlapse looks like. Now let's just quickly talk about the low light capabilities of this camera because I have been pretty impressed with how this thing holds up in low light. Um, you get some relatively noise free footage even in low light situations. I don't know how DJI pulled it off but the quality looks good. I mean the picture looks nice and smooth in low light and it's more than usable. So here is an example of some low light footage I took in an underground cave and there is a little bit of grain in the picture but I just want you to keep in mind that it was almost pitch black in this cave and um, I was still able to capture some usable footage. A more realistic situation would be after the sun sets in New York City. You can see that the image quality holds up great um, with just artificial lighting from the city. I know New York is pretty bright. There's a lot of lights, but I mean, for nighttime, um, the picture looks great. Overall, the picture just holds up nicely after the sun sets. And here's a real quick shot of my Sony a6400 um, in a low light situation. And you can see the detail, the quality, the picture just looks great, even in um, low light. Now about vlogging, because I am sure so many people will be using this camera for vlogging for sure. I think this is a great all-in-one solution for vlogging. It's small and the image quality is great. Also, as you're walking around filming yourself, the image stabilization just, it works. I don't do much vlogging, so I just purchased the base model of this camera. If you need better quality audio or you are into vlogging, I would recommend getting the Creator Combo. Um, that comes with a wireless microphone system um, that you can clip onto your shirt and get um, much better quality audio, I think, than the internal microphones. Or if you want to set the camera down and walk around, um, you can walk away from the camera with your wireless mic and still get great audio um, while walking around in the shot. Also, and this is a big one for me, about vlogging, the size of this thing just makes it so much more inconspicuous to shoot with. You know, you're not holding a big DSLR out in front of your face. Um, the size of this camera is great. It doesn't draw as much attention to itself and it makes me a little bit more comfortable to film myself in public. Um, a little bit shy sometimes filming myself in big crowded situations and um, not so much with this because it's small and um, people don't really notice it as much. So while I don't personally use the um, DJI Pocket 2 as a photography camera. Um, it is able to capture some great images. Um, I believe it captures 16 megapixel pictures. And uh, from what I've seen, they look great. So if you have to capture a quick picture in a pinch, um, I can do that for sure. Okay, so in conclusion, if you're looking for a small camera that you can just throw in your pocket and bring with you almost anywhere, then just buy this. I mean, this is a great deal for what it does. With great image quality, stabilization, features like time-lapse, motion-lapse, hyper-lapse, and incredible 4K footage up to 60 frames per second, the DJI Pocket 2 is a powerhouse of a camera for the size, the weight, and the money. It, it really is. You can get some professional looking footage out of this little camera. So I highly recommend this as a B-cam or a vlogging camera, or if you just want to capture some behind the scenes footage of whatever it is that you do, I think this camera does that great. I mean, you can throw it in your pocket and be ready to film when you need to. I think the portability alone makes this um, a go-to camera for me. 
um, to grab as I run out the door on a trip to pretty much anywhere. Um, this thing gets the job done. Of course, I mean, if you're filming in a situation that requires you to go underwater or extreme sports or get wet or, <laughs> or any of those, then of course, um, you know, you're gonna wanna grab an action camera. But otherwise, if you are keeping it dry, the DJI Pocket 2 is just awesome. So what do you think of the Pocket 2? Let me know in the comments down below. This is um, Caster X and do you own one? Will you be buying one <laughs> for the holiday season? Um, I would recommend it. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with this. And if you already own one, let me know what your experience has been like. I think it's great. Um, I mean, you might wanna pick up a little pack of ND filters to throw on this thing for bright situations. Um, other than that, this thing is good to go. Looks good. It sounds good and I would recommend it. Thanks again. If you like this type of content, like my channel and subscribe and let me know in the comments down below what type of um, future content you'd like to see from me and um, how I can improve my videos. If you like them, if you hate them, just um, let me know about, down below. But um, otherwise guys, Castorex signing out and um, I'll see you later.